Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is my overview slash guide to the basic engineering skill in Eco. Uh, basic engineering is a skill that is good throughout the whole game, right from early game to the late game, although what you do, what you build over that time does definitely change and evolve. It is unlockable right on day one of the server. All you need is three Dendrology Advanced Papers, which are just human logs, and five any basic research papers, which can be just logs or stone or food and plant fibers, whatever is easiest. Uh, it says you need carpentry um, labor, but it's carpentry level zero labor, so you just need to have read the carpentry scroll. So you can get basic engineering going super early. In the early game, you're going to need a lot of wood. So I would recommend starting in an area that has a lot of trees around you, unless, of course, you're going to be playing with or know somebody who's going to be a logger or a carpenter who can provide that for you. Um, but if you do cut down your own trees, I recommend saving the tree pulp, the wood pulp you get, and turning it into mortar at your campfire, you will need that mortar later. Um, pretty much everything you make in the early game uses wood, whether it's windmills, water wheels, rasters, rocker boxes, stone road tools, wood carts. Try to keep all this stuff in stock if you can. You'll be very popular in the first few days if you can manage to keep it all in stock. And then you will make roads, which is the one thing you can make that doesn't need wood. Roads and ramps, I guess I should say. This is where you'll use that mortar that I asked you to save, right? Because stone roads needs mortar and crushed stone. The crushed stone, of course, you will need to get from a miner. And once you run out of mortar, you'll want to get that from a mason. In the late game, you'll still be making roads, but it'll be asphalt concrete roads. Again, crushed stone, also sand and cement. Mason, miner, miner. So you want to be friends with an active mason and miner, if possible. For crafting tables, you will be mostly using the Wainwright table, which is made by a carpenter. You will also need a carpentry table to make windmills and water wheels. You will need the tool bench to make the stone road tool. And the arastras and rocker boxes are made at the workbench. The latter three benches, of course, you can make yourself. And again, carpenter for the Wainwright table. Uh, the good thing about all these tables is they're tier one tables, which means they only need basic upgrade modules, which is very nice. Also, they only need a tier one workshop, you know, tier one materials, and you will never need higher than tier one, which is amazing. It's one of the best parts of being a basic engineer. Speaking of upgrade modules, another important thing you'll be making as a basic engineer is the basic upgrade four. You do need to be basic engineering level six to make these. So you want to get leveled up as soon as possible. Making roads is a great way to do that, in my opinion. Um, as you can see, I have four Wainwright tables here. I have these two dedicated to making basic upgrade fours, and these two mostly make roads, ramps, and if anything else needs to be made, it comes from these two. These two are linked to certain storages so that I can do uh, basic upgrades automatically. Essentially, somebody comes to me, they sell basic upgrade three, they sell hewn logs, they sell plant fibers, in the amount specified on this sign, and I turn it into a BU4. It's a very nice tool to have. You will get a lot of business with that. I recommend setting one of those up. If you have any questions about how to do that specifically, let me know in the comments and I'll maybe go into it a little more deep. So what professions pair well with basic engineering? It is really nice to have a carpenter or logger friend early on for those wood heavy recipes. I, however, would not recommend taking carpenter or logger as a second skill. Um, but by the time you get that skill, the wood heavy recipes are probably the demand has gone down. Unless you're on a server that like restart with two skills or it has very fast XP, then you could probably do one of these. Um, I don't know if I'd really recommend one over the other. They both, you know, one makes hewn logs cheaper. The other makes boards cheaper. You need them both. Um, one thing I do like to pair with basic engineering though is mining and or masonry. Basically the road builder spec, right? If you have these three things, you can make everything you need for roads all by yourself, super easy. Um, I've done the spec before, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, the other thing that people do a lot, and I'm doing this particular run, is to go basically down the whole engineer tree, minus oil drilling, it's not really part of it. So basically you go basic, I mean, you can do oil drilling too. But it's more basic engineering, electronics, industry mechanics, kind of cluster all those together, although Honestly, taking basic engineering isn't necessary to take these three. Basic engineering honestly doesn't provide a lot to those skills. 
Iron wheels is the only thing the basic engineer makes that those later skills need. It's more of a um, state of mind. Those skills, they all kind of, they're all making like end products for the most part, right? So it's kind of all making big necessary things. They kind of go together like that. But honestly, basic engineering can go with anything. It's not like some other skills, like smelting really needs mining. Basic engineering does not depend on another skill to nearly that level. So you can take basic engineering so that you can make your own roads and whatnot. And you can pair with pretty much anything you want. Anything works with it. It's very versatile that way. Um, and like I said, the fact you only need a tier one workshop makes it easy. In conclusion, basic engineering is a great skill that I've taken multiple times and I will take again. Uh, it's extremely important in the early game, but also manages to maintain relevance through the whole game, which is crazy. Not a lot of skills you can say that about, especially because, as I said before, there's very little investment. All you need is the Tier 1 workshop, right? All you need is basic upgrade modules. That's an easy investment. That's, uh, that's the best part. Um, I think this is good for both experienced and new players. It is new player friendly. It's not that complicated. Although, if you are a new player that's going to take basic engineering, I would avoid going into the mechanics, industry, etc. part of it because those skills, those are complicated. Basic engineering is not so much. Those are. I would go more the road builder spec if I was, if I was a new player. Especially if you're playing on a server where the government pays people to place roads like my server. So here's where I do my server plug. I'm on my 10th server and there'll be many more after that. If you're interested in joining the server, we got a great group of people. We got some good rules that allow people to, you know, play how they want. It can make money, um, you know, but if you're interested in joining, you just need to join my discord links in the description down below. So check that out. Um, we're about four days, five days into a server right now. And if you're watching this in the future, Join the Discord anyway. There might be a server going on. There might be one coming up. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to do more of these videos. I'm going to do, as I take them this run, I'm going to do mechanics, going to do industry, going to do electronics. If there's any other professions that you would like to see a guide like this, let me know in the comments. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.